Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Saven. Welcome back for another episode of Quintessential Commander. My name is Esmond, and today I am joined by Alfred, and we have Matthew and Greg. Hello. And today we are doing something special again. We are doing our first ever competitive EDH or CEDH episode. So we've taken some of uh, some commanders and we've made them into really optimized lists. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. If you guys enjoy it. Let us know in the comments below, like the video, uh, subscribe of course. And because it is our first CEDH episode, we are actually going to do a giveaway. So I have a bunch of very special foil edged commanders from Commander Legends. So we have things like the Revy, Vault Smasher, Ramos, everything is up for grabs as a giveaway. All you have to do is you can either go onto Twitter, share the video and tag me and use the hashtag quintessential commander or you can also share it on Facebook and tag Gameshaven. Yeah, so whatever it is, just share it on either Twitter or Facebook, use the hashtag quintessential commander and we will pick a winner from each platform. Uh, also, yeah, if you share it on Twitter or Facebook, just comment down below as well. Whatever you do, just comment something below. It helps us so much. And also, if you want to support this series, go check out the Patreon page. Uh, there are a bunch of tiers available. You can join us on Discord. You can feature your deck. You can request a commander. There's tons of stuff on the Patreon page. Go check it out. Okay, all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's get into the decks. Today, I am bringing back Cole, the Forge Master. So this Boros Commander has been featured before, but today I am taking it to the maximum level. So this is a combo deck. I'm looking to get a free creature, a free equipment to equip it onto the creature and something to sacrifice the creature and ping everyone to death. It's a, it's a very convoluted combo with a lot of pieces, but because everything costs so little mana, I can essentially pull this off by turn 3 or earlier and threaten a win that early. And next we have Matthew and he is playing Obeka. He's trying to basically get infinite turns using something like uh, Isochron and Final Fortune or he can do an Underworld Breach combo with Brain Freeze. Um, there are a bunch of ways he can go off with this. Of course, there's Stasa's Oracle as well. So it's not currently, I would say, the best Grixis commander but she does have her own advantages and we'll see how it goes. Uh, hi, I'm Alfred. I'm playing Tricel's Bruce. Uh, this is actually called Blue Pot. So it actually aims to play Buffing Pot and Kiki Jiki lines, uh, playing a bit of stacks and some amount of ramp to control the bot and then win with a creature-based combo. Alright, and finally we have Greg. Hi, I'm Greg. So today I'm playing Yuriko. So the goal of this deck is to use Yuriko as a card advantage. And the main line of the deck are to use Tassa's Oracle with Demonic Consultation or Tented Pack. Or there is as well a Doomsday combo, and as a backup, there is a Bidden plan using Eureka ability. Alright, so those are the Sounds decks, good. and uh, let's see who starts first before we draw our opening hands. Uh, wow, Matthew. Okay, so we've drawn our opening hands. Uh, Matthew starts first. But I have a pre-game action, so I'm going to put in Gemstone Caverns and I will remove uh, Valakut Awakening from my hand and it gets a luck counter. Alright Matthew, then you can start. The raw. I'll lay a Bloodstained Mire, play one and fetch. Find a Volcanic Island and I'll tap one and cast Faceless Lutein. So it resolves, I draw two. Terrible. Uh, discard Sarconic Reef and Tribute Mage. Mm, wow. And pass my turn. Draw. I'm going to play a uh, Verdant Catacomb, but I'm going to pay one life on tap to fetch. I will get uh, Underground Sea. Mm -hmm. I will tap for one black, and I'm going to play a uh, Force Bridge Polar. Okay. And pass. Alright. Draw. Play a Wind Sweep. Play two life. Cast Kitex Sempro targeting S1. Oof. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll draw a card. Uh, yeah, say go. Alright, on your end step, I will tap for white and I will cast Enlightened Tutor. Pass priority. Pass priority. Uh, I'll pay to life, cast Mental Mister. Yeah, sure. Results. So E Tutor is counted. Then I will go to my turn, untap, draw for turn. I'll play a Marsh Flats. 
I will crack it. I will get a plateau into play. Then I will tap two. I will play a Felwa Stone. Uh, then I will tap Felwa Stone and I will play side of the Shinobi. That's it, go ahead. It's my turn! Draw. Okay, training center and pass. Control. Undagon River. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to attack Matthew with my first brush power. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll take it. That is unblocked. I'm going to tap for two to take one life from the Underground River. Yeah. And I'm going to Najisu Yuriko. Whoosh. So you'll take one damage. Yep. Yuriko trigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to reveal. Um, ooh, Big Moss Infusion. What? That just happened to be on top. Nice. So it will be 14 damage. Wow. Wow. Amazing. All right. And uh, pass. Untap, draw, play an island, fetch Windset. I'll fetch Savannah with Windset. P2, I'll cast Priest of Titania. Sure. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, my turn. I will untap, draw. I will tap 2, and I will cast Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, I'll mana drain that. Oof. Yeah, sure. It has been drained. And that's it for me. Draw. I get two mana from the mana drain. I will use the two mana. Tap one more. Main phase intuition. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. So I found three cards from intuition and I will show them to Alfred. Uh, I'll give you this card. These two go in the graveyard. So Luxury Sweet and Blood Creep in the graveyard. Ooh. And intuition. I'll lay mana confluence. And then pass. Draw. I'm going to attack with Yoriko. I will attack Matthew. Yeah, no blocks. So Yoriko trigger. I'm going to reveal the top card of my library, which is a nice. a second zero. round. All right. I'm going to play the second round. I'm going to play a Mem Knight. Mm. Mm. I'm going to tap for one black. I'm going to tap a, to play a Force Bridge Prowler, targeting Priest of Titania. Yes. So you get minus minus one. I'm going to pay one life for a blue mana. I'm going to cast Moss Dust Changeling. Okay. And I'm going to tap one from the second ring to get the colorless. And I'm going to cast Grave Digger's Cage. Okay. Yeah, results. And with that, I will pass my turn. Untap, draw, play a Tundra. Tap for two, I'll cast Sylvan Library. Sure. Sylvan Library. Why, why all of you pumping out all threats? Yeah, take one Ooh. and come to spell. No! Uh, yeah, I'll. Yeah, resolves. Go ahead. Alright, I will untap, draw, tap two. And I will play Relic Seeker. So when it ETBs, Psy will trigger, I will choose to attach it to the Seeker. And that's it, go ahead. Right, my turn, untap, okay, draw. That is crap. Yep, pass. Draw. I'm moving to attack, so I'm going to attack with my four creatures. So uh, Mem Knight on Yuriko uh, to Matthew. And the first brush player and the most dash changeling are going to attack Alfred. Sure, I declare no blocks. Yep, no blocks. So uh, there will be two Yuriko trigger from Yuriko on the changeling. So for the first trigger, I will reveal a chain of vapor. Yep, we all lose one. And I will uh, reveal for the second one a mana confluence. Sure. And I'm going to cast the mana confluence. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay uh, one filter to black black and I'm going to cast demonic tutor. Our oh, fast priority. Yeah, nothing. The card was at the bottom. <laughs> nice. So I'm getting that card. Okay. So I will put it into my hand and I will pass. Alright, untap, draw. 
play Volcanic Island Sago. Untap. Draw. Tap 2. And I will cast my commander, Cole. Yes, it resolves Esmond. <laughs> I'll go to combat. I will send the Relic Seeker at Greg. It is a 3-3. Three, three. No blocks. Alright, so damage. And then Renown will trigger. It gets a plus one counter. I will search my library for an equipment card. What equipment can destroy a Yuriko? I will search for a Skull Clamp. Goes into my hand. Then I will play Rugged Prairie. Tap it for colorless and play my Skull Clamp. And I'm just gonna leave it like that. Go ahead. Turn the roll. I'll lay a polluted delta. I'll fetch. I'll find an underground sea. Mm. I will not use minor confluence. I'll tap three and transmit mother the mixture. Yep. Sure. Sure. I'll find Tasa's Oracle. Oh. Ooh la la. Oh. And I'll pass. Draw. I'm going to pay one black that I'm going to filter with uh, something to two blacks. And then I will take one for a third black. Ooh. And I'm going to cast a Doomsday. Ah, oh, Doomsday. Doomsday. Uh, let me think. Uh, I'll tap for three mana. I'll hard cast Force of Negation, targeting Doomsday. Nice. Sure. I'm going to pay one for mana confluence for a blue. I'm going to spell Pierce your Force of Negation. Mm. Yep. Results. Uh, wait, wait. Ah, pass priority. I'll uh, tap one red. I will cast Pyroblast, targeting Spell Pierce. I'm going to exile a uh, Blink Most Infusion and pay one life to force of will your Pyroblast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, so force of will resolves, resolves, countering Pyroblast, and that means that Spell, spell Pierce counters resolves. Force of Negation. Yeah. So Doomsday resolve, so I will pay uh, half my life, from that up, so 16, so I will go to 15. And we are dead. I'm going to exile my library. I'll search for the end, I will put those five cards on top of my library. Mm -hmm. All right, sure. I'm going to move to attack, and I'm going to attack uh, with all four. I'm going to attack uh, Alfred. Yeah, I decline the blocks. I'll take four. And then there will be two Eureka Trigger. Mm -hmm. I'll just respond, I'll just cast Silence. Oh. Oh. Okay, so then Eureka's Trigger is resolve. Um, it will be a Brainstorm. Sure. <laughs> and it will be a Mox Amber. Okay. okay. So we take one damage. One. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Put in my hand, and I will say pass. Yes! Survive one more turn. Oh, damn it. That's not a card. Now we die to Tassa's Oracle. Yes, now we die to Tassa's Oracle. Play Mountain. Yeah. Uh, cast Mystic Remora. Okay. And I will pay four. I'll cast Bruce. Bruce resolves. Uh, ETB trigger. I'll target himself. Right. Um, say go. Draw. So tap one colorless. I'll equip Skull Clam over to Relic Seeker. I'll go to combat. Call will go at Greg. Relic Seeker at Alfred. No blocks. No, I declare no blocks. No. And that's it for me. Go ahead. Okay, my turn. Draw. I'll tap two. Cast Oracle. I hold priority. I'll take one from my confluence. And okay. cast Interpret. Uh, there's a trigger on the stack. Mystic Remora. Would you yeah. like to pay? Nope, I can't pay. Alright, I'll draw a card. Pass priority. Pass priority. Yeah, unfortunately, I also passed priority. Okay, so I resolved the interpack. Yep. Okay, so uh, in this deck, no cards have the same name. There's only three basics even. <laughs> yep, so I'll just uh, remove every single card from the game. Nice. And then uh, Oracle resolves. Yep. Then yep. the ETP trigger. There's yep. no cards left in my library. And you win! And you win! <laughs> All right, so that's it for our first ever CEDH game. And well, I guess the most efficient win con currently in the format won. 
Uh, it was very interaction heavy. There were a lot of tense moments. Like the only the only reason why I could have won was because everyone was focused on not letting Greg win. But it, I think it has to go that way. Like in a way, everyone's trying to win on pretty much the same turn. So if you stop one guy, then the next guy is gonna have it. Yeah. No, knowing knowing Aspen's hand, I had to stop his <laughs> his early win, yeah. and. Yeah, other than that I was I ran out of a bit of gas because my, my RAM and my card draw engine got uh, counted, <laughs> so I just had to try to stop the table from winning. Yeah, congratulations to Matthew. Uh, I just had to go for it and it didn't pan out, but uh, still happy with the game. And I think uh, as a you know, as a kind of format by itself, C D H I find it for me at least, uh, it's a completely different format. You see like different cards from normal EDH and CEDH. Uh, but for me, actually, it's more of a mindset of how you play the game, how you approach the game, how you approach your place and taking, uh, taking, taking your turn. Honestly, it's fun for me as a break from normal EDH. If you guys enjoy it, please uh, let me know down below what you know, commanders or what decks you would like to see. And once again, do take part in the giveaway, giving away the foil-edged Commander Legends, Commanders, yay! So share this video on Twitter, on Facebook, Use the hashtag quintessential commander, tag me, tag Game Saver, and tag everyone you know. And yeah, if you enjoy it, we'll probably try and do this semi regularly, uh, CEDH. Uh, if you don't like it, also, you know, let us know, that's fine. And as usual, point out all our misplays. Uh, we really enjoy those comments. Thank you for watching. <laughs> See you all next time. Thank you. <laughs>